What is going on YouTube? 008 here, I'm here with my fiance Carla and we are reacting to episode 2 of She-Hulk. And episode 1 was okay, apart from some... Uh... Tell them what you told me about when you were editing. What did I say? That when you were watching it you thought it was okay. Yeah. But when you were edit editing it, you yeah, I realized she was really she annoying. Was, she was pretty annoying. Like, <laughs> complaining and moaning about her getting catcalled while Bruce Banner's literally you know, had the most horrific <laughs> story <laughs> story of trying literally. to control trying to control his anger. Like literally he knows about if anyone knows about controlling anger, it's him. The guy can't even have relationships and stuff and she's worried about being catcalled. But yeah, I get it. They're trying to bring in, you know, today's uh, women's issues, they're trying to play into that. Realistic issues versus fictional issues, but at the end of the day it's all fiction, isn't it? It's it's, it's Disney and Marvel, you know. So let's let's look at her as a character, as an individual, what her issues are gonna be rather than her as a gender representing every single woman on the planet. Like we wanna see what makes her an interesting character, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what episode two <laughs> brings us. And see if it's uh, is good. I, I liked episode one, by the way. Yeah, to be fair, I I, I, I liked episode one. It's just that it was much better than I thought. Her, ca her character is a bit is a bit irritating sometimes. Like when she's trying to compete with Banner, like the whole bit where she was like, um, "Oh, I'm better than you. I'm better than you." Like that's not what he's talking about. He's excited that your blood mm. fixed his arm. Yeah, Why yeah, are you yeah. like trying to rub in that you're better than him? And that <laughs> he wants you to rejoice in the moment rather yeah. than rub it in. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, weird. Yeah. It's like so. I want, hopefully, they make a bit more like a this episode. Let's see what happens. Do you think it was so good because uh, Mark Ruffalo was in it? Maybe. Do you think that's yeah, I think Mark Ruffalo so definitely much? helped. But she, Do you think I don't think he'll be, be in a lot of them. He might come back. He'll probably be one of the things where he comes back at the end. I hope so. Yeah, but let's see what this episode, this show's like without Mark Ruffalo. I hope you see him as Mark Ruffalo. I mean, as it's mm -hmm. true, Bruce Banner. I am a Hulk. Oh, you mean like when he's a Bruce Banner? I really like system. him when so he's I just turn into a Hulk. Jennifer Walters, attorney at law. Oh, that's another character drawn, isn't it? Just keep so. If that's so that, fine, to be fair, long hair for when she's human. To be fair, when she's human in the comics, her hair's like that as well. Like how she looks at this sort of feel. I feel like they're doing it to distinguish, and it's like we're not stupid. When she's green, she's the Hulk. When she's not, she's Sketches not. Sketches show a stunning. And she's been identified as Deputy District Attorney Jennifer Walters. Members of the no, jury are calling the green woman a hero <laughs> who saved to lie. She looks better in the drawing than she does in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like like a chick Hulk. A she Hulk. A she Hulk. Exactly. They, they, don't, they don't get to pick the names. Banner That's said in the Poops okay. episode. No. No. That's for somebody called she -Hulk. she Hulk, which can't possibly be what they're calling <laughs> Lady Hulk, Girl Hulk, She Hulk. Give them what they want. Weird CGI. She reminds me of the big woman so in dumb. Resident Evil Eight. Without someone compared her to that, Hulk. actually. Doesn't she? Just like, how did you get these powers? I really don't feel like talking about it. Nepotism. Knew it. <laughs> when you want to like pick up your family and members and give them opportunities just because they're related to you, like if you not, make your son an no, actor because you're an actor, sort of like Jaden Smith or something. But you could be an Avenger. Mm. Do the Avengers offer health care? She doesn't look green. She looks jaundice. Jaundice. Doesn't she look a bit yellow? Go back to Jen. Jen, this is a serious conversation. Oh yeah, we did. Oh, oh she really pissed now. To oh. save the lives of the entire she jury today, GLK Kennedy argued that yeah. the jury was then biased. She was sober when she was yeah. She-Hulk. That's interesting. Wait, you're firing me? Now, if she's smart, she'll sue him for what is it? Discrimination. Hey, yeah, well, wrongful dismissal in, based yeah. on discrimination. Yeah, you, you know, like how you can't just fire us. someone because they're a woman, you can't oh. fire someone because they're gay, you yeah, can't yeah, fire yeah, someone because yeah. they're Why do they fire us? Because she's a liability. Because she's Hulk. We're not prepared to offer the position. She's Chick Hulk. It's no. Because she showed everyone on TV. We just can't take the risk of a sideshow. No, she could sue him for wrongful no. dismissal. You can't Maybe that's what she's going to do. And she's a lawyer, so she should know how to do it. Here, GGNT might be hiring. I feel like she's looking for a new job at the moment. Jen. Family dinner right after I get fired. <laughs> Sorry. Please, 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 please come with me. Can't I have a date? It's a bit like that's Nicole Scherzinger. I was literally just thinking exactly the same thing. <laughs> exactly the same thing. Jen, 
You don't have to worry about getting fired. I already told everyone, so it won't be awkward. No one's going to bring it up. Hi, <laughs> Great. You got fired. Chad. 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 Big news. So I got uh, promoted to manager over at the Best Buy. Manager, all right, Chad. Employed <laughs> and promoted, right? Oh, Dan, there what is the nicest young man who uh, took not set me up. No, 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 he's much too young for you. No, he wants to be a superhero. <laughs> oh, this is, the, this is literally them families where it's like, the, they always give you little sn sn snide digs and stuff, but they're acting like they're being friendly and that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you, you failed all your tests. Oh, okay. <laughs> <It's> so <annoying. laughs> Do you think my family's like that? Nah. Is your family like that, do you think? Nah, my family would be like, why the hell would you fail your tests? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they would they just would, tell you straight yeah, up. they literally would. You know, no messing about. They'd literally tell you no straight messing about. Um, yeah, it's yeah, kind of like Game of Thrones. So right. In Game of Thrones, they're all like that. They're always basically all ripping each other and talking shit to each other, but with a smile on their yeah, face. Yeah, in the nicest in way King, possible. In King's Landing, they do that a lot. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> I think royalty must do that to each other Yeah, I bet well. they do. They I bet do. the Queen speaks like that. I bet it makes them all, all the kids feel like shit for nothing. <laughs> In the nicest, smiliest way possible. What? Let's get this hair more like She Hulk's. <laughs> so funny, that's what you were complaining about earlier. Do you think that was a criticism they were like less secretly rushing? Why are they talking about Hawkeye? Now, Jim, there's a couple of things I could They know everything. They know that Hulk was the one that snapped his fingers and everything. You don't know that. Just an excuse I don't know. I feel like so many things you. happen in war and, and battles in real life that we don't know. Mm. But it feels like in this universe, everyone just knows exactly what happened. Word it's for word. Because they're superheroes, down. isn't it? I guess. It's Maybe that's extraordinary. I don't, know. I don't know if superheroes existed in real life. Would we know everything they did in their battles, or would we? Wouldn't we? Not know? if they were like Homelander, we wouldn't. <laughs> but if they were going around doing good things, I guess we would know. Everything. No, but people that do good things, you know, that they don't ever, they don't ever want to advertise it, do they? They just yeah, but do other it. people do, don't they? Yeah. You know, other people would be like. Mm. But then in Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan thought. Uh, a Captain Marvel defeated Thanos all on her own. I don't know if that's just in her head, but when that's she, what she thought. Yeah, in the oh, first wow. episode, you see it. Um, on her own? Yeah, but then she didn't talk about the snap, so she might have thinks the Hulk for that as well. No, I actually do think if superheroes existed, we oh, would no. know all this kind of stuff. Really? Mm. Mm, no, I'm even not if okay, they didn't. Well, in this day and age, definitely. Not being okay. I hate that it got revealed in this way. Like, but I wasn't gonna just let those people get hurt. No. And now I feel like I'm being punished for doing the right thing. Well, now, now she understands what Banner's been going through. This isn't even the first time we've had to deal with a Hulk in the family. Why oh, they keep calling it you a Hulk? You destroy a city. <laughs> yeah, that's a Hulk. his name. Kind That's of, his name, it? not his breed. Mm. You know? It does feel like a weight. Has like, been. it's like a dog, mm. a cat, yeah. a sheep. They're turning his name into a breed. Yeah, yeah. his name's the Hulk. Moving on. Sorry, I'm being a very negative Nancy, aren't I? I hate this, I hate that. I need your tea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my bed. Whichever one comes first. Another one, Jen. I'd like to offer you a job. <laughs> Miss Walters, you laid out a winning case against us. Oh, oh, oh look who she was going trial. again. I would like you to come work for us. That's pretty cool. You got me mm. fired, now you want to be head of a new division, yes. Take some time. I accept. Bye-bye. You, <laughs> <laughs> you got paper. Bye. You start Monday. She didn't even ask uh, what the division was. Okay. Pedro, Jen Walters is back, baby. I don't even know what the is like. I'm going to do this shit, man. Pedro's like, what time do I finish? Yeah. When's the night shift coming in? <laughs> We've all done that, innit? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I do that on a daily basis. And it's basis. like right in front of you, Paul. We are I literally do that on a day, daily basis. I'm so I'm happy joking. to be here. I'll expect you to be at work and in court as the sheep. Oh, you Not to make an obstacle of See, I told her she should have asked what it was about. She just said yes without even... Right Did now. I say make an obstacle of her? What? Let's make her... Object. Ob Terrific. Oh, there's a... She's, he's objectifying her. <laughs> This way, please. No, 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 I'm not getting tricked. We are the first. I just think, trying to remember what it is. Dedicated spectacle. to superhuman laws. Obstacle God, is this spectacle. Did they hire me? <laughs> this I'm this sucks. Sucks. I'm the only one qualified, but now everyone around here is always going to think this is the only reason I got the job. It's so unfair. You should be able to know you just got These donors never had to deal right? with this on their mm. first day at work. I'm. Why isn't that suit ripped? Uh, Maybe she bought a big one. Oh, okay. Big ladies one. Plus size. For sure. Oh, here we are. Your office. 
Does look like a nice office, doesn't it? Mm. She's oh, gonna keep complaining. Turn to suits now. Mind this. Why are you in Hulk? For? I just found out the only reason they hired me is because they wanted a Hulk lawyer in the superhuman law division. Yes, but look at everything it's getting us. Big ass <laughs> windows. This, this is very fancy. Bit. I'm gonna have to buy an entirely new wardrobe just to come to work. Her anyway, eyes are green, but Banner's <laughs> eyes are brown in these Hulk. It's weird. Hi there. I'll it's got some office supplies. <laughs> you know when they show her point of view, so, so she's uh, looking down at Karen's her colleague. Then, is that what it, it feels like I'll when you're really tall and you look down on people like that? Because he hates I'm not that tall to say. Mr. But, yeah, but you're taller I'm than so me, so you look down. Nah, because you're not that. It doesn't feel like you're that much taller short than me at all. Your first case is the parole of a man. As a matter of fact, sometimes. I'm just wondering. It just seems. No, nah, it doesn't. Like, it doesn't feel like that. So when like I she's super tall. Yeah. When I talk to people that are shorter than me, they kind of feel like they're the same height. Mm. And then when we take pictures and I see how much bigger I am than them, I'm mm. like, wow, am I that much bigger? Mm. It's like, like you know, like with being when I'm next to him, mm. I feel like I'm kind of the same size as him. All but right then, then. But when I see pictures, I'm like, geez, I didn't realize I was that much bigger than him. Yeah, but like, okay, when you like have my mom, like my mom's really little, is it like that? No, it doesn't feel like I'm. I mean, it does look like I'm looking down on her a bit. Yeah, it does feel like I'm taller than her, but. Because when they show her perspective, they make mm. everyone else like when they're showing from her eyes looking mm. down, they make everyone look really, really little. Mm. Also, I'm it just depends on if you're really, really tall. It depends Does on it how you like psychologically that? see that person as well. I think for me, like sometimes there'll be certain people like your mum, for example, because she's older than me and like she's an adult. Like I mean, I don't, I'm an adult too, but like she's like my your elder, senior, my yeah. senior. I see her as my senior, mm. so she doesn't feel small. Is that, is that weird? Does that make sense? Yeah, my mum's like, got a big personality. Though, yeah, she's got a big say. personality, exactly. Like, certain people that are, like, my peers or my seniors, even though mm. they're way smaller than me, they don't feel like they're smaller than me because of how they feel psychologically. So you know? even though she's much bigger than her, I can't, I don't know her name, the paralegal, mm -hmm. does it feel like that when you look down on people? Because it feels like she's, like... Unless they're, like, really quite short, not really. Okay. Just yeah. wondering because I'm not that at all, so yeah. I can't. It doesn't feel like you're going, you're like yeah, giant. because that's what it, like they're showing it as if she's like some massive no, thing it's looking definitely down doesn't on everyone. Feel like that, I'm just wondering if that's actually because there's been times where I've been like with a group of people and I'm taller than all of them, bigger than all of them, mm. but I don't feel like I am at all. I guess because you only look down with your eyes, right? Rather than yeah. looking down with your face, yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> but in here, they make it seem like when mm. you're really tall like that and you look down, you're like, yeah, in pictures, some big, massive. Yeah, in pictures when, I'm, when I'm with a group of people, I can see how much bigger I am than all of them. And I'm just mm. like, oh, wow. So, yeah, definitely not. Okay. It doesn't feel Bill like you're looking down. Blonsky. Who's a Mel Blonsky? He's oh, uh, so the abomination. abomination. Mr. The guy that fought the Hulk in the Edward Norton movie. The main so bad you know, guy that Edward Norton There's a lot of Hulk controversy film. surrounding mm. his possible... I'm sorry, but I can't represent him, sir. This man tried to kill my cousin, Bruce. Yeah, that's quite all right. <laughs> Mr. Blonsky. If you don't take the case, then you don't have a job here. Can they do that? I guess if I you've do, just been hired. I do like the way they've done her eye makeup. Yeah. I like oh, how it's got the like, teeth like, as well. They've given her this like green. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. You can't come in like Smudged. that. No superpowers inside. Well, if she's always like that. What do, what do you mean no superpowers? That doesn't make any sense. It's stupid. Oh. <laughs> is she gonna drop her Welcome. powers in the box? Yeah. <laughs> Put your powers in the bucket before you go in. You can have them back like later. That, they're misfits the they did area of the cell. They just don't want powers in there so they can save some on CGI. <laughs> in the event of injury, never let your guard down. The prisoner is a very dangerous man. Why is her suit? She's kind of lecture or something. Yeah. Why is her suit? Like it's so perfectly fit. It should be like is it baggy? Okay, it's quite baggy. Okay, okay. When she's big, like it's really tight, isn't it? Right. But okay. it's kind of baggy. Yeah, fair enough, I think. I guess you're not meant to think of the logistics. You're meant to just roll with it. Yeah, you're not meant to question everything, anything, you know. Not look at it logically. Mm. Well, that's <laughs> how we used to look at fairy tales. Do you recognize him? Mr. Blonsky, yeah. I, I was ex Sorry about it. It's no, been uncle. a no. very long time You won't be seeing much of him film. about. Mm. I say, I've completely transformed myself, physically, obviously. But what do these two look like? Does that mean the is that the same actor? The yeah, same actor. Anymore, That's good. Have they got the same actor? No, no, it means that I choose. Oh my god, he's wearing crops. Not to. <laughs> Russian born, British raised, Royal Marines commando, on loan to the US government with seven soul mates that I met 
through the prison pen Seven. that I want to start a new life with. Is he Nick Cannon or something? <laughs> the Hulk. My cousin Bruce. You know, I, I tried to kill him. You know, so let's get that out of the way. <laughs> it wasn't personal or anything. He was doing it for Ross. I was under direct orders from your government. But then you went on a destructive rampage in Harlem. Because they pumped me full of that super soldier serum. You know, I was sent on a mission to take out a, a threat. Is I he thought, actually I, British actor? I thought I was the yeah. good guy. Captain bloody America. <laughs> your cousin is held up as some kind of hero and I'm locked up in here. Oh, they sold him a dream. Is What's the justice in that say, mm. right? I love the with it. I love the I angle they came the in point. with it. That little twist, yeah. Because it's true, like, the government got him to mm. capture Bruce, who was mm. meant to be the vigilante in the original film. Yeah. And now Bruce is the hero, the vigilante, and he's the evil bad guy that's in mm. prison. But Even to though be... they sold him, they, they basically sold him a dream. Yeah. They basically said, you're going to be Captain America. Yeah, it's a clever, that's a clever twist to mm. it. Very lawyer type, courtroom type stuff. Mm. But mm -hmm. the thing is though, Ross, I, don't, I think he was doing illegal things with using the powers of you know the legal system. Mm. That's the point, but we'll see how that goes. I have here various haikus that I've written oh boy. to each of my victims expressing the sorrow. Oh, you don't have to. If you'd like to experience them. That's okay. I just want to move on with my life. Live in peace on a large piece of property purchased for me by my seven soulmates. Right. Who are these seven soulmates? It's not like seven dwarves. He keeps mentioning seven soulmates. I bet they've got powers and she has to fight them. Yeah, I'm, trying, I'm starting to think something. I expect to hear your decision. What do you think she should do? Do it, fuck okay. it. She's a lawyer, right? Got to represent everybody. I guess she needs to talk to Bruce. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> How does he pick up the train and smash yeah, it over his head? I got a new job. Part of the deal is I have to take on Emil Blonsky as a client, and, and I, I couldn't do that without talking to you first. Okay, I so mean, it doesn't seem like you hold a grudge. At least you've never talked about that before. That's and and, and you're always saying <laughs> that, it, you know, everybody deserves a second chance. And, and I'm I not calling for an act here, but Blonsky did seem to have really good arguments, you know? He, he yeah, was he's so going to lawyer mode on him, I you? think you're calling me to tell me you're taking the job. I'm calling you to tell you I'm taking the job, yes. Actually, Blonsky wrote me a really nice haiku, so we put everything behind us. That that fight was so many years ago, I'm a completely different person now. Literally. Literally. <laughs> so you're sure? Was that, was, that was a double meaning, wasn't it? Because <laughs> he's not Edward Norton anymore. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm a I'm complete. So that's why I went. I'm a completely different person now. I yeah, put emphasis yeah. on it. <laughs> oh, that's really clever. Okay, I think it would be rude time. if Marvel like edited Mark Ruffalo's face on a new version of that film. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh yeah, but I I've been saying this for years, he definitely deserves his own film. Yeah, he does. But maybe that's because it's I love Mark Ruffalo so much. It's because Paramount has the rights to the Hulk oh. film as on its oh, own. He can only shame. feature in other things when Marvel owns him. So they have to just share in the rights of Paramount. So they can use him whenever they want, but they can't make a film about him, you know? But they could if they had their permission, though. Yeah, yeah, but I think they have to pay them, and I think Marvel can't, doesn't want to do that. But I think as time is going, I think they're close to getting the full rights to him. Mm. They'll probably make one final film of him before Why Mark can't Ruffalo. they just split the profits? They don't have to I pay them. I think they don't want to. I think Marvel being greedy about that. Mm, they don't they mind splitting. They haven't got enough money. They don't mind splitting with Sony and Spider Man, I guess, because Spider Man's a bigger name than Hulk, but yeah. I think when Marvel fully gets the rights back, they'll make a one big, you know, uh, finale with Mark yeah. Ruffalo, and then um, he'll probably he'll probably stop doing the films, probably retire, not from acting, but from Marvel films. Do you remember when we watched Mark Ruffalo in that? I know this much is true. Yeah. Oh my God. He no, was, was really he good in that. such a good actor. Yeah, it was really good in that. Such a good actor. When somebody can play twins like that, two completely different twins, mm. That believable. It felt believable mental. that there were two different people in that. Because he played them so well. Because yeah. he's such a good he's actor. Good. What'd they end up naming you anyway? She Hulk? <laughs> Don't <laughs> even. <laughs> no, I love that. She Hulk, attorney at law. You coming to LA anytime soon? Yeah, probably not for a minute. I got some things I gotta take care of. What the hell kind of phone has he got? Phone call over, I guess. Oh, maybe he was still in the Earth atmosphere or something, I don't know. Uh, Where's he going? Very far away. 
soon. Mr. Holloway, uh, I'd like to accept your offer. Glad to hear. Uh, you might want to take a look at the news right now. Yes. First to be an underground fight club oh, sure. after having somehow escaped from prison. Oh, is this the Oh. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Is that, was that Shang? That was in Shang-Chi. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, so Shang-Chi was happening at the same time this was happening. That's cool. Okay. That's cool. Would you, someone's done it for the up to an end game. Would you love to watch like, well, no you wouldn't because it's just, that's going to kill you. But someone's managed to edit from Iron Man 1 to Endgame, like all the Marvel films into one long, like, I think it's like a 50 hour movie or something like mm-hmm. that. But he's edited it in timeline order. So it starts with like Captain America and stuff. <sighs> And it's, but it's not just the movies, it's like put the little clips in of when they happen. So, say it's got to Shang-Chi, but listen, say you got to Shang-Chi, and then She-Hulk, that She-Hulk would come in then, or like in the middle of Shang-Chi, mm. and it's like one long move, loads of different characters the and stuff like cool, that. But no, it's no, cool, she. obviously you can't watch it all in one sitting, but it'll be fun to watch like a series or something, like basically the M- MCU, mm. the series. If you chopped it up and cut it, maybe. Yeah, like into hour long or 30 minute episodes. It'd be lots of episodes there. Mm. Could even split it in seasons, but. Maybe they have to do it in phases. Yeah. And but it's just all cool. it's all in timeline order. That they showed that, that scene. Yeah. I'm quite impressed with myself that I recognised where that well was done. from. I thought I was going to mention Shang-Chi, that that's where that abomination's from. Yeah. But I didn't think you'd remember, I was like. I really liked Shang-Chi. Wait, what? Is that it? It felt like we were in the middle of the episode. I really like the way you're doing it. Yeah, she looks better in the drawings. She looks way better in the drawings. Mm-hmm. But we all look better in drawings, don't we? Except nobody does, but you still need it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing down here. Just keep smiling. Joking, joking, don't count. There you go. Watch out for the lamb. Yeah, good. Oh my gosh, they're not happy there. They're so happy. Glad you're staying hydrated. I want a She-Hulk. Oh, yeah. Yep. I hope you're a She-Hulk. Just not. That was it. I thought it was going to be so. I think this looks like there's going to be more. There's a long credit. Wow, that episode felt so short, didn't it? It did feel really, really short. Yeah, we talked quite a lot in that one. I wonder if people are going to be pissed off with us. Why? For, you didn't pay attention, you were talking, da 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 No, but it'll be all right. It was good. We had commentary. We have to what have commentary. Mean? Sometimes when you're doing reactions, people get a bit upset when you talk over it too much. You we know. didn't talk over it, we paused it. Yeah, we paused it most of the time. Sometimes we were talking, but it's all right. We're going to keep doing that, because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to give commentary, you know? you're not supposed to just watch it and then and then well, not then, react because <laughs> that's the whole point then don't reaction. watch two people reacting because you're going to talk right yeah exactly it's because they don't want you to miss things but we didn't miss anything we got pretty much everything and what did you think of the episode yeah that's pretty good yeah I didn't hate it but I didn't yeah. I wouldn't be rushing to watch it again yeah yeah I think even though she was more annoying in the first episode the first mm. episode was probably better it felt more complete you know this one felt a bit like I like, like the concept though. I feel like I was in the middle of an hour long episode rather than mm. a half an hour episode that, that completes, you know. I like the concept that she has to embrace herself to be able to work. Yeah. You know, to be able to do her job. Yeah. It's a shame yeah. that nobody will hire her. Yeah. But I like, the, her, I like the, yeah. that she doesn't like using. Yeah. Exactly. She's, she's going to have to learn to embrace herself. Mm. And the story is quite cool. Like, mm. she has to help, she has her, to help cousins. her cousin's enemy, old yeah. enemy. But who's ran off to fight in Shang-Chi land? Yeah. Um, I'm more interested in what Bruce was up to. Yeah, <laughs> well, what was the, where was he Well, that ship is from Thor Ragnarok. You know that weird guy, mm-hmm. Jeff Goldblum's character, mm-hmm. was using the Hulk as like a gladiator? That was one of his ships. Mm. so I don't know if he's going back there I don't think they'll ever explain that or do you think it was just like a, we need well, to get rid of Bruce we need to not get rid of Bruce but we need to do something. give a reason why he's not going to be in every episode Well, in the so oh let's put him in space or something I don't know well maybe Marvel actually has got the rights back from Paramount and they're planning a Hulk movie and that's going to explain why he's that'd be good space. I've been waiting 15 years I don't really want to see Hulk in space but to be fair in the comics when he does because he goes to space in the comics as well mm-hmm. and when he goes to space in the comics Apparently he has like a son. He ends up getting someone pregnant. I don't know how. I don't know the details. I don't know that. 
but he has a son and uh, I think when he comes back to maybe that's why he's gone maybe the guy, the guy told him look you got a son he's like right I've got to get on the ship then does the son inherit his hulkness I think so yeah I guess because he's carrying the same blood type again. yeah ah. yeah but obviously he's must wouldn't be half that alien. devastate Bruce Banner yeah, we don't know. That it's would just, devastate the character Bruce Banner. Should do, but everything's very light-hearted these days in the MCU. It's probably why some people have some criticisms of the MCU, like they're not taking things as serious mm, as they used to. For not, sure. Yeah. But anyway, it was a good episode. Yeah, it was so-so. I yeah. wouldn't be rushing to watch it again. Yeah. Like I wanted to watch... Um, House of the Dragon. Division. Oh, One Division. yeah. Like that, I would that happily sit down and watch that again. I can't yeah. see myself sitting down and watching this ever again. Yeah. Let's see what episode three is like yeah. this week. I don't right. hate it. I don't love it either. Mm. It's just a four out of ten. Yes, yeah, sort of four out of ten. That's quite good for me. That's good for your harsh mm-hmm. ratings. But anyway, that's our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for notifications, and we'll see you again. Mm-hmm. Peace.